Outdoors Airway is bringing you the ultimate in great squirrel hunting action with Mac English and his outstanding mountain curves. Watch Mr. Mac zero in on a South Carolina bushy tail and as he puts it, gives him a headache. This video is a must have for anyone that enjoys the outdoors with family, friends, and a good dog. Come along with Mr. Mac and his crew as they ramble the hills and hollers of South Carolina. Share a laugh and maybe learn a thing or two about this great sport, the heritage of the mountain cur, and a man known for producing world-class tree dogs. I'm Mac English, and today we, we're going on a good old-fashioned squirrel hunt. And we'll be hunting with squirrel dogs. I know some of you maybe not be familiar with hunting with squirrel dogs, but we uh, hunt with squirrel dogs a lot, and, and there's uh, several different kind of dogs that you hunt squirrels with. But today we'll be hunting the original mountain cur dog. Uh, I prefer the original mountain cur dogs. Some people like the other kinds, spice and, and different kind of long haired dogs and all, but I have more preference toward the original mountain cur. Years ago, when our ancestors come to this country, they brought dogs with them. And uh, they were all kind of dogs. They really weren't one breed of dog. And and they were, they were some mixed up dogs. They weren't one type of dog. But they brought these dogs here for uh, to war off the Indians, to help them catch, get to kill game, to survive with. And they also caught uh, livestock up, chickens. And so it was, a dog was almost a necessity then. For hunting squirrels, I don't want a dog to bark on the track unless... Like what you've seen so far? Well, it's just a sample of the action packed in the full-length DVD. 26 headshots and some incredible dog work make this required viewing for any small game enthusiast. Available now from Outdoors Our Way. <laughs> we got one right in the very tip top of this old tree here. As high as you can go, you, you might see him there in the picture. Yeah, you hear the dog running and saying, I think I'll step over here and give my head up. Got a little old half grown fryer here. Man, that thing will fry good, good. Hey, look at that. Shot in the head, ain't messed up. With old young, tender legs, man, just get the grease on. We'll, put, we'll make something out of him. Let's go get another one, y'all. Take the front feet off. Throw him in a bucket of water. Catch him out. Cut his, cut his head off. Boy, Front feet off. And a bucket of water. I put them in this water where after I cut the feet off to make, to make the hair stick together, keep them flying everywhere, and to, uh, to limber them up. You know, after you kill, kill a game for an hour or two, it'll get stiff as a board and be hard to clean off. So then I take him and put his back feet in these uh, sheet metal pliers I got on the post here. Ain't no holes in him nowhere except what we cut in him. Just some pretty meat there for the, for the A steer. lifetime of killing, cleaning, and consuming thousands and thousands of squirrels has given Mac English the opportunity to try many different skinning methods. He settled on a practice that will definitely allow you to better prepare your game for the kitchen. See Max method demonstrated step by step on the full length DVD, available now from Outdoors Our Way. We fry them things and like you do a piece of chicken or something other than make gravy and viscous with it.
This ain't never had no lip. Yeah, it will have none. As it didn't have aneurysm, blood run outside of his head. Outdoors Airway is bringing you the ultimate in great squirrel hunting action with Mac English and his outstanding mountain curves. Watch Mr. Mac zero in on a South Carolina bushy tail and as he puts it, gives him a headache. This video is a must have for anyone that enjoys the outdoors with family, friends, and a good dog. Come along with Mr. Mac and his crew as they ramble the hills and hollers of South Carolina. Share a laugh and maybe learn a thing or two about this great sport, the heritage of the mountain curve, and a man known for producing world-class tree dogs.